my entire life, I have genuinely been fascinated by Alaska, this big land up in the north with mountains so numerous that they don't even have names and rivers running all through the state, over three million lakes. I dreamed as a child of 10 years old to move to Alaska someday, primarily to train and race sled dogs. And finally, at the age of 38, I grew tired of a city lifestyle, uh, one that was so fast paced and, and really focused on things that became so much less meaningful to me in my life that I decided to finally pursue this life of adventure that I had always dreamed about. My name is Larry Doherty and Alaska is my home. Up until a few years ago, I had not heard of martini knives. I had always uh, used just kind of generic cheap knives from the store, uh, but I was gifted a very nice high quality knife when a friend of mine was visiting Alaska from Finland. And since that time, that knife I have used uh, mushing dogs on the Iditarod Trail in Alaska uh, when I hunt for moose or caribou, when I fish, and I found that this knife, uh, after several years of use, held up to the brutal challenges that are faced in Alaska through storms, rain, sub-zero temperatures, uh, and I really became convinced of the benefits of owning a high quality knife. And for me, uh, that has meant a martini knife and it's been my constant companion when I'm outside in Alaska. I got the materials for this knife right here from my moose hunt last year where friends and I harvested a young bull moose. Uh, in that area, you can harvest any bull. And we harvested a moose that was probably three years old, had a relatively small rack of antlers, not one where I would have considered doing a traditional cape and a mount of the moose with a taxidermy piece uh, to display, um, but being able to still utilize those materials and incorporate them in some meaningful way into something that I actually used, this knife, uh, seemed exactly fitting to me. So. Um, being able to use those antlers and uh, provide them as custom materials to Martini uh, to give me something that's not only beautiful and a nice heirloom, but something that's so functional, uh, a knife that I can continue to use every day in all of my adventures, uh, that seemed the perfect solution for me. I was really clear with the Martini design team that I wanted to preserve the natural look of the bone. Uh, so you can see that uh, here on the knife where the antler would have attached to the skull base, you can still appreciate that that's an antler, which I really like. Having a, a high quality knife is, is one thing, and, and that's something that I now firmly believe in, always having a good knife with me. Um, but it's quite another thing to have a high quality custom knife that I designed with materials that I harvested. And I envision someday my kids will remember Dad had this knife. Dad designed this knife. Dad's materials went into this knife. And now this becomes the knife that Dad not only carried, but designed, treasured, used in the outdoors, is really a perfect heirloom to pass along to my kids someday.